Hello? Hey. Okay, uh, everyone who's got an Android or an iOS phone, do you want to take it out? No, or ignore me. It's fun, you'll see why. I won't have wasted my whole day. I promise. If you go there. No? I don't think that title's relevant anymore. Oh, it is, cool. Has everyone managed to get there? Has anyone managed to get there? Yeah. On that page, there should be a HTML5 video player. And if you're on Android or iOS, if you just tap it, it should start playing video. <laughs> if it doesn't work, it's going to be really funny. But I can't fix it because it's over there and I'm stood here. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone's tried to view the the stream from the conference here, but the stream today is an RTSP stream, which is UDP based. Um, almost every player is a Flash player. And because you're on a mobile phone and Adobe don't package Flash, you don't get to watch it. On that page, we have a HTTP live stream, which is an Apple based standard, but it is a draft RFC. It's real open technology that you can go and look at, develop with and play with. And it works and it's integrated into iOS and Android but not into any of the mainstream web browsers on a desktop. So there's a 50-50 there. But if you have VLC, you can pull it up and you can pull this down. And then we've got nice open live streaming that dun, 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 uses TCP. There's big benefits to using TCP. We all get to go woo. Um, we don't have to reinvent the wheel, rebuild our transmission layer, rebuild all you know, decades of protocol that you have to do with UTB streams. We've got a nice, smooth TCP stream that should work and look really cool. But back to that, I proposed coming along and doing experimental streaming back in May. My boss okayed it last month. I chatted to some people, and they went, yeah, yeah, it's really cool. And then I had dead silence. On Monday, I thought, well, maybe I should probably find someone to speak to. Uh, I emailed the guys I've been talking to, but they didn't get back to me for a while. And I jumped in IRC. And in IRC, someone went, oh. Why would you duplicate that effort? What the hell are you doing with your life? Why would you waste all this time that people have put into this live stream, you know, that was going to work well, and just waste your know, power and bandwidth? What's the purpose of you? And we have a culture where re reinventing the wheel is normally not a good thing. It normally means you don't understand the problems you're coming up against. You don't know why things are done a certain way. And genuinely, reinventing the wheel most of the time, maybe 90% of the time, is a complete and utter waste. But sometimes we need to start from the bottom and figure out why things work and go through that whole process and we'll come out with something that's a lot better. That's why I did that. The other thing I did was I made Club Matty. And when I told people I made Club Matty yesterday, they go, why are you doing that? You can buy it. There's loads of it. Why would you ever make it? You can just buy it. You can buy Club Mate from Club Mate UK. 20 bottles is 35 quid with shipping. I, I, I sell it for two pounds a bottle in my office to, to feed the junkies. Now that's, that's not a good use of time and energy because it costs maybe a pound to make 10 liters of it. And it's pretty good. And to show you how good it is, anyone who wants can come and try some Adventure Mate. 0.5 which is a CC0 licensed recipe. Um, we've got a concentrate that we mix with sparkling water, so the carbonation's off. But if you want to come see me after this or when people are done talking and you go all the way around, we'll be filling up bottles in that corner. That's me.